Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. <laughs> welcome back to Simply Spiritual. I finally got a permanent setup for all this. I have a big huge table now. Um, the camera's permanently here. Well, not the camera, it's my phone, but man. Um, cards are here, it's great. So I uh, decided to put a little bit of makeup on for the occasion, kind of sort of do my hair. I normally just roll out of bed, but you know, so I dress up. <laughs> um, so this is going to be for the sign of Aries for mid-July. As always, readings are general, may or may not resonate with you. Bits and pieces may resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, just toss it to the side and move on. Um, also, you can cross-watch for um, different signs you may be dealing with because energy can be flipped vice versa. And you can also watch your sun, moon, Venus rising signs or really any sign that you feel drawn to watch. All right, what's going on with Aries mid-July? Magician in the mirror. Manifestations possibly coming to fruition. Rest and rejuvenation. These guys both have this like energy coming around. It's basically like you've been manifesting something and now it's into the stage where you're just supposed to let go and just rest and just wait. I mean, not wait, but like forget about it basically. You've just been kind of in like a zone. <clears throat> Aries, mid July. Buy the book. So this is about kind of doing things like by the norm or like society norms, cultural norms, stuff like that. So you might be going for something, manifesting something that's not typically something that would be thought for you because of whatever reason it may be. Oh dear. Could just be like a person that Typically, it wouldn't be your type. Aries. Oh. Chop wood grounding. This You are very much trying to ground yourself, rest, rejuvenate, chill out. You're like hardcore working on a manifestation or something. What else is going on with Aries? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, this is the thing. Like, if you want to manifest something, you first have to be in a good energy, right? So, this could have to do with the rest and rejuvenation and the chop wood, which is about grounding yourself. You have to be in a good mindset, especially if you're kind of trying to manifest something that's not by the book. That's not something uh, that people think that you should have, or maybe it's something that little, goes a little bit out of reach. If you don't ground yourself and kind of believe that that thing can come to you, then it won't basically. But like, anyway, something, something about manifesting something and then kind of grounding yourself so that it can come in. I mean, we have soulmate cards, so probably is regarding a person. This would be romantic though. Soulmates can be friends. That's coming with Aries, mid-July. Six of, six of Wands. This is a victory. This can also be something public. You might be already dating somebody that People don't necessarily think you should be with for, again, cultural norms, society norms, blah, 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 right? Therefore, you haven't really gone public with it yet, but you're trying to manifest maybe the people around you being approving of this situation that you're in. The world. This is a cycle change. Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. Aries. Aries, mid July. Yeah. Bro! Hold on. Aries, mid July. Um, death card. 
Death and Rebirth. So we have two kind of cycle cards here. The death card and the world card. You're really trying to move to a new cycle. So there's two situations here. The first one I said and the second one I said. The first one is you're trying to manifest somebody that you want. Probably someone you already know because with the buy the book card, it's somebody that maybe is off limits for whatever reason. Even it could be as weird as like, it's a celebrity and it's like people are like, really? So like, you're just trying to rest, rejuvenate, ground yourself, love yourself first. And back to the thing I've been talking about for a while is not telling people things because they can kind of mess up your manifestations. So either it's something you want something that's a little bit off limits, a little bit unusual for you, or you're already with this person, but you're not public about it and you want people to accept it. Okay. Why is the six of wands here? This is the moon hidden, this intuition. Coming from hidden to light, basically, like going because the moon is about things that are hidden to then six of wands, which is a public victory. Also, like I said, keeping your manifestation secret until they're public, basically, until they've actually happened. Where's the world here? Knight of Cups, this is the crush card. So you could be trying to manifest this soulmate to come in towards you. Um, watch the Ace of Wands here. Four of Wands, this is a Twin Flame card. This is the eleven eleven card. This could be a Twin Flame situation because people don't really understand all that stuff and that's why you're trying to keep to yourself so that people don't mess it up. Again, by the book, like, those relationships literally kind of go against all odds in a sense. Like, it often is people that don't, um, wouldn't typically line up because of age difference or race or job type or whatever it may be, right? A lot of people don't understand that. So basically, again, this is the thing of not, not telling people your manifestations until they happen. Not going public with it until it's solid, right? So, anyway, marriage beginning, passion new beginning. Where's the death card here? Why's the death card here? Ace of Pentacles. So, it's definitely a cycle. Something ends for something else to begin. A cycle ends. It doesn't have to be something ends with a particular person, but some form of cycle ends to bring in a new beginning. We have a stable new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. So we also have, we have two Aces here. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, basically someone's very much trying to ground and rest because some sort of manifestation that they are trying to get is a little bit off limits or unusual and they really feel the need to basically go into hermit mode until that thing comes in because they don't want anybody to get into their energy field regarding this situation is what it feels like whether that be something new that you want or it's just something you're already in that you want to kind of go public with but you want to make sure but you're trying to manifest your friends and family being okay with it like say you're um, friends and family only want you to date someone of a certain religion and you're dating someone of a completely different religion and you're trying to manifest that your family is going to accept this person so anyways that was kind of odd it's a very bizarre reading but anyway hopefully that was helpful guys if it was please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos um, oh also it, it, it was it can also just be the twin flame thing as like I said, people don't really, some people don't really understand that very, don't believe in it. So it might not be anything to do with culture or race or whatever. It might literally just be the fact that it's someone that you've been separated from and gone on and off with. And typically that's something to stay away from, but not always in this type of situation. So anyways, guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's simply Sharon and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.